Welcome to Webster Outlying Field, home to the Navy's recognized organic lead systems integrator capability. I'm Christian Utera, Webster Field's Executive Director, and I'm pleased to introduce you to the unique capabilities this command provides to its DOD customers, capabilities that make a critical impact on the warfighter's ability to execute the mission to protecting our nation. Situated 15 miles away from the Naval Air Station Patuxent River, on approximately 850 acres in historic St. Inigo's, Maryland, at the confluence of the St. Mary's River and St. Inigo's Creek, our sites was part of the first original colonial settlement in Maryland, as well as the location of a Jesuit plantation dating to around 1637, the remnants of what we can still see today. Our modern day history reaches back to World War II when Webster Field was founded in 1943 in honor of Captain Walter Wynne Webster, a naval aviator and brilliant pioneer in naval aviation who made many advances in the field of radio controlled aircraft and special weapons, having remarkable foresight in today's drone technology. Webster Field was established as a strategically important dispersal field in the event of aerial attacks, as well as an auxiliary landing field for NAS Patuxent River. In the decades since, Webster Outlying Field, now known simply as WOLF, has developed technologies not found anywhere else that support the warfighter in critical ways. We develop integrated and interoperable quality products for the warfighter in the areas of command, control, communications, combat systems, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, better known as C5 ISR systems, sensors, command and operations centers, intelligence management, air traffic control, and identification for the Navy, DOD, and other government agencies. Today, we are part of the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, and not only work in partnership with NOC-AD to deliver mission-critical products, but we are also recognized as NOC-AD's Organic Lead Systems Integrator, or also known as OLSI. As OLSI, we operate under a product-based business model where WOLF civilians lead and manage the efforts of our combined government industry team. We focus on maintaining ownership of our designs, allowing us to readily adapt them to new customer needs. This OLSI approach is unique within NOC-AD. WOLF is also NOC-AD's rapid capability engineering source, as 70% of our projects are less than two years in duration. Just a couple of our key products include counter unmanned aerial systems work, which employs cutting edge technologies to combat the growing threat of small unmanned aircraft, and the development of field technologies, such as our Agnavix program, which provides the warfighter with a pop-up air traffic control capability. The WOLF team includes over 550 civilians and more than 3,500 contractor support personnel located throughout the United States and throughout the world. We are proud to share this facility with U.S. Coast Guard and the Maryland Army National Guard, as well as with our partner, Air Tevron 2-4, or better known as UX-24, the Navy's first and only unmanned aircraft system developmental test flight squadron. Moving into that future, we envision more growth and opportunity as we continue developing and improving on the latest technologies to ensure the naval aviation readiness. All of this makes WOOF not just a critical partner to the warfighter, but an amazing place to work. I'm Ellen Cervetnik, the NOC AD Strategic Education Office Team Lead. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Webster Outlying Field. To learn more about our STEM community outreach, please visit our website shown on the screen. To learn more about career opportunities and our Engineer and Scientist Development Program, please visit the website shown on the screen or you're welcome to submit your resume. Thank you.